नमो नमः वेलकम टू एनजे चैरिटेबल फाउंडेशन वी आर लर्निंग बेसिक कंप्यूटर स्किल्स ऑफ लेवल ए एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर इनपुट आउटपुट एंड स्टोरेज डिवाइस फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न व्हिच ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर यूज्ड और व्हिच डिवाइसेस आर यूज्ड टू रन और टू यूज अ कंप्यूटर लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ इनपुट डिवाइसेस we can also know them as instruments devices or instruments friends computer cannot work without data and instructions as we learned in the previous chapter the devices through which we send data and instructions to the computer are called input devices and we know that the input devices like keyboard and mouse in this chapter we will also discuss about some more input devices let's start with keyboard here you can see an image of keyboard and you know that it is a tool to enter data into the computer if we press this key we can type u on the screen if we press this key we can type p on the screen of the monitor so this way we can enter data using keyboard therefore it is called as input device it looks like a typewriter keyboard and it generally has 101 keys in some keyboards you may find more than 101 keys but it generally has 101 keys we will know about the different types of keys and their working in later chapters keyboard is connected to a computer with a wire it has so many buttons with symbols on it which work differently and they are like letter keys these keys are used to type capital letters a to z here you can find capital letters a to z and you can also type small letters as well you can also type numbers and punctuation symbols here you can see that letters are not in the order of a b c d up to z but keys are in the specific order which is made like a typewriter so by practicing you can remember that which keys is located at which place here you can see caps lock this key is used to type capital or small letters when caps lock key is pressed it helps write capital letters if you press caps lock and then press s you can type capital s when it is not pressed then the letters are typed in small case without pressing caps lock suppose you are typing or pressing g then you can find small g on your screen and by pressing caps lock if you type or press any of the key you can find that letter in capital so this is the use of caps lock key then we have some then we have some function keys function keys here you can find f1 f2 f3 up to f12 so function keys are used to give specific command to computer there are 12 function keys on the keyboard from f1 to f12 then you can find shift key here shift key there are two shift keys on the keyboard when a key has two symbols on it see here you can see on this key we have two symbols full stop and greater than when a key has two symbols like this then to type the upper symbol keep the shift key pressed and press that symbol key so by pressing shift key if you press this you can find greater than symbol typed on your screen and without pressing shift key if you press this key you can find full stop typed on the screen so if there are two symbols on one key if you press shift and then you press any key with two symbols upper symbol will be typed shift key is also used to type the capital letters 
if you press shift and then press k you can find capital k on your screen next we have space bar key this big key you can see that is space bar key it is the longest key on the keyboard it is used to give space between two words or letters so for space it is used between two words or two letters then we have backspace key that you can find here backspace this key is used to erase the letter from right to left if you type a spelling by mistake you can erase that spelling by using this backspace key you can erase it from right to left then next is delete key here you can find this key delete it deletes the letter on the right side of the cursor so if you want to delete any word from your screen you have to put the cursor on that letter or word then you can delete the letter on the right side of the cursor for deleting file you can also use this key delete key then we have arrow keys here you can see four keys together these are arrow keys and by seeing these keys we can understand this that this shows upside this shows downside this shows left and this right so with the help of arrow keys one can move the cursor on all the four sides up down left or right so these are arrow keys next we have enter or return key here you can see enter key this is used to come at the next line of the paragraph if you are typing a paragraph by pressing this key you can come at the next line of the paragraph or start a new paragraph or to enter data or send instructions to cpu this key is pressed enter or we can say return key then we have numeric key pair here we have one two nine and zero keys but here we have given separately this is known as numeric key pair this is on the right side of the keyboard some of its keys have dual functions when number lock key is on green light is on these keys work as number keys when number lock is off or we can say green light is off then these keys work as the symbols written on them so these keys are used to type numbers or symbols given here on this keypad so friends in this video we discussed about keyboard which is the first main input device for the computer in the next video we will continue the discussion and talk about some more input devices so see you in the next video till then goodbye and happy learning